It was a windy lunchtime in Suffolk, UK, when 15 of the country's most stubborn ultra runners started a race with no finish line. Okay, this is the start line of uh, the uh, UK team at the Backyard Ultra National Championships. One team in about 50 different countries all over the world. And away they go on their first loop. So the idea is they work as a team to uh, try and beat all the other countries that have all just started at exactly the same time. They've got 4.167 mile loop to do and they do it as many times as they possibly can, starting on the hour, every hour, from now until the last person drops out. So here we are on lap five. For these runners, the early miles are essentially a warm-up. The field included John Stocker, the former Backyard Ultra world record holder, and his assist on that day, Matt Blackburn. These guys are well used to running over 300 miles. However, as darkness fell, there was a huge shock for the UK team when John Stocker pulled out with illness on the eighth lap. He was devastated and the team was rocked knowing they'd lost one of their best runners. It's midnight and the guys have been running for 11 hours now, so the next loop will take them to 12 hours, half a day's running. By sunup on the second day, there were plenty of other teams around the world who were beginning to lose runners. However, the stronger teams still had their full complement of 15. 20 yards completed. Guys are going to go out on their 21st yard now. We still have 14 runners left in the game. And the UK are slowly climbing up the rankings in the international standings. Uh, there's uh, 37 countries taking part all over the world. And we are now 22 hours into the backyard ultra. You can see the clock here, which is uh, telling us, uh, oh, you maybe can't see it quite clearly enough, but that definitely says 22 hours there. Um, and it'll give you a little tour of the Backyard Ultra site here. We're at Nettis Hall uh, Nature Reserve, uh, which is in Suffolk. Um, these are cars and tents of, of crew and staff here. Um, these gazebos are for runners who don't have crew. So most runners will have crew, um, but we've got two or three or four runners who don't have any crew at all. So that gazebo there and this gazebo here. These tents are tents of runners. So um, crew and runners can go in their tents when they get back after each yard. This is the start and finish area for each loop. Each loop is called a yard because it's named after um, Lazarus Lake's uh, backyard where he started the Backyard Ultra uh, many years ago. So uh, it was originally run in Tennessee in Laz's backyard, so it's called a Backyard Ultra. Uh, this is uh, the van of uh, race director Lindley Chambers uh, with the first aid support vehicle here. And uh, this is the timing tent here. So each time a runner comes in, uh, they are logged on this on this laptop or this uh, tablet here um, and when runners finish um, if they if they drop out uh, they will come here to sign out and uh, get their dog tag or their um, their silver it's not a dog tag these days is it it's a silver medal I think is it that is that one of them I think they get one of those when they uh, when they drop out and uh, and then we come to the most important tent of all the bacon sandwich tent, uh, which is here. So there's Lindley, he's tucking into his bacon sandwich. Lindley will have about 15 of those. Um, uh, so if runners, I mean, most runners have crew, most runners will have brought their own food, but if they if they need topping up, uh, if they need extra food, then uh, we've, we've provided uh, quite a bit here. Uh, and it's, it's all your usual uh, fare that you would get on any ultra distance race. Uh, but this morning, 
uh, we've just had bacon sandwiches cooked. So I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have one of those in a second. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's that, um, and that is that is the that is the scene really. So runners start here, and then they go off and out of the field, and they come round, and then they come up this path here that you'll see just by the river, all the way up there, all the way round and into the forest. And, uh, and then they've got four miles to run back and round to the finish. So that is our UK Team Backyard Ultra campsite. Right, Team UK uh, now on uh, start about to start lap 26, yards 26. Um, it is beginning to hurt now. We've got one runner down here who may not start the second loop, this, this loop. We have 13 runners left in. 13 runners left in. And one down and out. So that is our second UK runner. He has got 30 seconds to get over the line, but it doesn't look like he's gonna go. Good job, Andy. Well done, mate. So Andy made it out onto the 27th yard, but he's turned round, he's come back. He was having trouble with his stomach from quite early on and uh, he hasn't been able to sort that out. And uh, he's got nothing left. So he is out of the Backyard Ultra and that means we are down to 12 in the UK now. Right, so it is... Uh, Nearly 27 hours in and uh, we are standing waiting for Andrew Smith to come back. He's got about 30 seconds to get in. He's not going to make it. Not even Andrew Smith can do that. So the guys are going to line up. There will be 11 runners left in the UK team. Uh, they are well over 100, 120 miles now pretty much. And away they go. Andrew Smith is a former winner of the Suffolk Backyard Ultra and he arrived back in camp a few minutes later to collect his silver coin. Well done, mate. Now you can get your WKD down, yeah? <laughs> Good job, Andy. What have you got to say for yourself? Good. <laughs> so Andy Smith comes in and uh, he can now relax. Done his job for the team. 27 loops done. Okay, here we are uh, back at the start of the 29th lap. And we have another runner who hasn't made it back in time, Guy Bettison. Uh, Guy is not going to get back in time. We just wait, looking for him coming up, but he's not there and he has got... Oh, he's only got 10 seconds to do it. He's not going to make it back. Steven, got seven seconds. Come on, Steve. Right. So we are now, we're down to 10 runners from the UK team. 10 runners. And they are off and running on uh, lap 29 now. Lap 29. Some of them looking a bit more ropey than others, but they are going. Okay. Right, we've convinced Sean to stand up again. No doubt he'll come back in 45 minutes again. So we are uh, starting lap 33, loop, yard, whatever you want to call it, 33. It is 9 p.m. here in Suffolk, and we have eight runners left eight runners off they go uh, the reason we have eight runners is because Stephen Hobbs who sits normally in this chair here Stephen Hobbs has not arrived back so uh, we have dropped another runner from the UK team oh. 
Well done, James. Yeah, thank you ever so much, everyone. Thanks, thank you. Yeah. 35 laps. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, enjoy Go sit down. Go sit down. Go and lie down, get your feet up. Right, that is James, who is pulling out 34, 34 laps, 35 laps done. Uh, two minutes to go before we start lap 36. Well done, Matt. Number, have we got a number 12? Yeah. Is that, that's cool. We've only got five. You done, buddy? Yeah. Well done. Good job. 35. So it's 7 a.m. Three runners remaining. See you in a bit. That is the UK team. Three left, off and running with 41 laps completed. 42 laps completed. They're on their 43rd. They've done 170 miles, is it? Something like that? How are you feeling, Chris? Good, guys. That's all right. Couldn't do any more. Couldn't do any more. No, no. Legs or head or? So tired, my legs. Just couldn't get my legs going. Yeah, everything. <laughs> A nice <laughs> So that's Chris. He's uh, he's making his way back to camp. Um, couldn't carry on. Sat down on a bench. Turned round. Made his way back to camp. And the UK team is now down to two runners. And we are in t overall 12th place at the moment. It's nine o'clock in the morning at the uh, Nettis Hall Nature Reserve, Nettis Hall Heath Nature Reserve in Suffolk. And Andrew and Matt are starting their 45th yard. And there's Matt Blackburn. And away they go. We are uh, coming up to the end of the 45th loop now. Andrew Jackson is coming in. Well done, Andrew. Come on, mate. Just try and pull one more out. At this stage, any thoughts of working together to increase the UK team score were non-existent. It was simply a case of individual grit and determination. Do you need anything? Can we get you anything? Which one of the two had the physical endurance and the mental stamina to outlast the other? Matt had the pedigree of having reached 80 yards the year before, and I think knowing that, it began to feel like an uphill battle for Andrew. A few times it looked like he didn't want to get back up to go out again, but he did. Around the world, a number of countries had already finished, and yet more countries had between 5 and 10 runners still going. In 12th position, the UK team was not going to catch anyone else on the leaderboard. We just had to hope that no other country would catch us, whilst letting Matt and Andrew fight it out for the golden ticket which would ultimately take the winner to the individual World Championships in Tennessee next year. The sun is out, uh, the campsite is slowly, gradually thinning out. Um, we are waiting for Andrew to come in. There are nine minutes left until the next loop starts. And uh, young Matthew here is uh, getting told off by his wife for still wearing his trousers in the sunshine. What are you gonna do? There are 30 seconds to go before the start of loop 48. 
30 seconds is not enough time for Andrew Jackson to make it back. But it's not. How was that final yard? Horrible. It's horrible. But you've achieved your furthest ever distance, is it? Def definitely furthest in a backyard. Yeah, yeah, it's furthest, in, furthest in the backyard. The furthest I've done before now was 39 yards. So yeah, I'm happy with 46. Brilliant, really well done and congratulations. And you've done Team UK proud. Thank you. That's Victoria, isn't it? Oh, there he is. Look, on, he's got 10 seconds. He doesn't want to do it. He's there, he's walked around. And time is up. And Andrew is not back, and Matt Blackburn is the winner of the Backyard Ultra World and Matt. Great work. 47 yards completed for Matt, and Andrew is walking in. He wanted to finish so many times, but he said that he wasn't ever going to sit down in that chair and not get out again. And he's been true to his word. Well done, buddy. Good job. Go and cross that line. <laughs> Great effort. Great work, Andrew. How do you feel? Wrecked. <laughs> to be fair, have you been wrecked for a few laps? I've, I've, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't. To be honest, I didn't think I could 45 in. So I was pleased. I was pleased that you pushed us out to, to go out and get 45 and 46. <laughs> so, yeah. We were a bit horrible, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, you felt hor you felt horrible on that last one when I had to make my way back here. Yeah. Well, well done. Congratulations. Fantastic effort. And I mean, what was the last distance you did? What was the furthest you'd been before? Uh, so it was 39 yards. Right. 166 so you yards. smashed that out of the park. <laughs> well done, Andrew. Great job. I think, yeah, I think that's the thing you want, isn't it? Awesome. Gold point. Awesome. Good yeah. Cheers, brother. Awesome. Top that one, mate. We're really pleased with that. Mac Blackburn is going to Tennessee. Uh, so everyone who doesn't finish gets a silver coin and Matt gets the gold coin, the gold ticket to go and represent us in us, us in the, U the UK in uh, Tennessee for Biggs, the original backyard. Uh, so uh, how do you feel about that then? Over the moon, especially after last year, I think. Um, I think I had an unfinished business for about 12 months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you were in, I mean, yeah. despite despite being the uh, assist last year, you did get invited to Biggs. Yeah, and we just couldn't get over because of COVID. So obviously we trained for it. And then we just couldn't get over because of the COVID restrictions in the US. So it'd be so great to... not only the win, but also the getting to Biggs bit has been uh, yeah, a bit so, of a monkey, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's been good. Yeah. Let's have a look at that trophy. There he is. UK Backyard Satellite National Championships. UK winner, Matt Blackburn. Well done. Well done. Great job, Matt. The UK team finished on a combined total of 486 yards. But we were caught by Spain eventually and finished in 13th position. The USA were the overall team champions with 860 yards, but the story of the week was Mayn Geert and Ivo Steert breaking the backyard world record, with both of them reaching 101 yards. Rather than fight it out to the death, the two runners from Belgium decided to finish together. To have a winner in a backyard ultra, one person must do one more lap than anyone else. So technically there was no official winner from the Belgian team, however with such high scores both runners will almost certainly be invited to the individual world championships at Biggs Backyard Ultra in Tennessee next year.
If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the start line next time.